So for the salesperson who is really successful, they have the ability to do that because they stand in their power and they have that level of conviction. Welcome, Bernadette. Thanks, John. Hey, you've got a lot of experience working with sales teams and salespeople, and I'm sure you've got a very good perception of what the top salespeople do on a consistent basis to be top salespeople. Yes, and actually that that word consistent is quite critical. Yeah, could you share some of that with us? And I think I'm sure yeah. that the salespeople that are striving to, to be in that position would like to learn from your experience? Look, I think there's probably three aspects of um, the sales role. And one is the approach to market. The other is the focus of their sales conversations. And the third one is the outcomes they actually want to achieve. Okay, so we can talk, talk about each one of those yeah, briefly? Yeah, yeah. So if we look at the approach to market, they tend to have a really strong level of conviction. So a lot of salespeople actually go to market and they try to convince. But it's really all about what is the what are the beliefs that the salesperson has, right. what what is their level of conviction. Um, and they really have made that first sale to themselves. So this is your inner conviction. Totally, totally. The conviction to what? The, to their intention for right. serving the client. Serving the client. But also to revenue to generate revenue for themselves and their company. So it's got to be a win-win. Sure. Um, it can't all be about just getting the deal. Yeah, we, I recently spoke with Ian Lowe and he talked a lot about giving. The salesperson's mm. a giver, yeah. but they have also need to learn how to receive as well. I agree with that too. I agree. And, and so if you go to the second part of that, um, what I mentioned before, is the focus on the conversation. And there, it's really all about taking the um, attention away from the product that we've spoken about earlier, and being able to really have a consultative conversation, but chunking it up, as we spoke about before, to context. So they are able the... The context of the customer environment, the customer needs. Correct, yeah. correct. Um, and then, of course, the outcome is not just signing the contract, where it's always been in the past, as we know. It's really all about how do we conspire for our, our client success and contribute to like their the, business growth. I like the thinking around the fact that selling is not driving a transaction is driving a, a, a relationship and value to the to the customer through that relationship, helping them achieve things, knowing you'll get something in return. And it's that law of reciprocity. Exactly. You, you can't go past it. And so, I mean, Cialdini talks about that as one of the laws um, of influence. So when you come from that real... Um, space of wanting to have a conversation with a potential buyer and you're present to that conversation, you will naturally ask the right questions. In their context. In their, from their world. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so for the salesperson who is really successful, they have the ability to do that because they stand in their power and they have that level of conviction. I like it. So can you summarise the three again? Yes. Yeah, so if we look at the approach to market, what I, the way I like to look at it is for any salesperson to go to market, they've got to have value in themselves. And yes. so that's really, I suppose, what I call the sales triad. It's, it's three levels of leadership. You need to have that ability to, to have that personal leadership. The conviction. Correct. You need to be able to bring the value of your offering to the client through your thought leadership. Right. and how you can sell your ideas, basically. Right. And thirdly is the sales leadership, and that is around the value to the market as a whole. So that's what I call the sales triad. And you, you're saying all the top sales guys are what? They'll have, they'll have those three components, and they will practice them consistently. Like your thinking. Thank Thanks. you very much for your Thanks, experience. No, thank you.